Hey guys, it's Michael. Uh, I've got another video tutorial here for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about legal video. Uh, last time we talked about legal audio. And uh, what legal video and audio really mean is, is just kind of a, a standard uh, for the television industry. Uh, but it, it does apply to other industries, you know, even if you're just uh, uh, uploading your video to YouTube. Uh, keeping all your video legal and all your audio legal um, basically ensures that uh, your video is going to look good on all devices. And that's why the rules were created. I'm set up here in Adobe Premiere CC 2017. Um, and uh, in my timeline here, um, I'm on a black piece of video. Here's my program monitor. On this side right here, I've got a just a standard waveform monitor, and then I've got an RGB parade, which is a waveform monitor, but it's for red, green, and blue. And so I'm going to just play back a little bit of this video right here, and we can see kind of what happens. Um, you know, we've got uh, what we see on screen, and there's a, a kind of a digital representation of it over here. Um, what you'll notice, and uh, I've got a couple strange settings on here. I've got float on, so that's why they, they keep on bouncing around. Um, and, and that just shows you uh, the whole waveform, wherever it's actually at. Um, so it, it kind of just scales out. There's something in the sub-zero range here. And, uh, yeah, what I'm talking about is sub-zero. Um, there's a, a range here. This is uh, actually your IRE range. Uh, it starts at zero. That's where all the blacks are, and all the way up to 100, and that's where white is at. And if you look here, you know the sky is kind of blown out in the shot, and and so uh, we do have a white background here. Uh, on this side, you know, you you just see the mixed mixture of these colors. So you know, 100% um, red and with 100% green with 100% blue uh, creates a white background. Um, just like you know, in, in your uh, down here, you have zero, zero, zero kind of creates a black background, um, you know, and all the other information is kind of in between here. If you, if you actually look here towards um, on this slide here where we've got the word Iowa, you can kind of see how that gets cropped out. It's a solid color, uh, so it's real um, centralized here in the waveform, and you can see how it's blocking out all this other color here. All right, so what legal video is, is any time, uh, like on this graphic, you have anything going over 100% IRE or below zero um, IRE is illegal video. Adobe's got a lot of ways to legalize your video. Uh, the most common is the video limiter, but I, I actually don't really like this effect. Um, it, it never turns out quite how I want. Um, it doesn't limit the video as much as I would like, and the way that it limits uh, doesn't look as clean as I would like. Uh, so I've come up with a different way to legalize the video uh, for my projects, and uh, that's by using the levels effect. Right here, my adjustment layer is where I have that levels effect. So if I come up here to effects controls, uh, and I've got the adjustment layer selected, you see levels. Uh, you can also find it down here in your effects. Uh, I just type levels in, and here it is. Now, now, the great part about levels is it actually um, converts your video signal to RGB. And the great part about that is RGB, by default, is going to be within 0 and 100. It'll just force everything to within 0 and 100. Uh, so all you really have to do, create an adjustment layer. You just apply it to an individual video clip. Um, and let's start off by just deleting it off this. I'm going to turn this layer on, and I'm going to drop it on here. Now, when I did that, you probably didn't see anything. Um, but if we come over here, now we take a look here, um, and everything is above 0, and everything is below 100. And even here on our RGB parade, everything is below um, zero and above 100. If I eyeball it so you can see the change and go back and forth, you see everything is now within those ranges. Uh, let's go to another clip. Let me uneyeball it. 
Um, so here again, we have a lot of something, and we can't even see it here, but it's it's in our it's uh, below zero here. And when I click it back on, we're back. Um, usually, I am on my waveform type RGB, uh, and we play it back, and the RGB is going to be just spot on. It's not going to fluctuate at all. So if we go under our effects here, we can go to video limiter. And that's what a lot of people use. I'm just going to drag and drop this on my effect. Go to my effects controls. Um, I'm going to turn off the levels. And we'll just have video limiter on. And if we come back here and play through it, you'll see how the video limiter is allowing the video to go over 100 IRE. And if I toggle this on and off, you don't see anything. Video limiter is on. Let's just reapply it just to make sure. Video limiter is on. And we'll go back to Lumetri and we're still above. Now there, there are settings inside of here that you can uh, adjust. Um, you know, it's got the max signal at 130, so I'll just switch it to 100. And I go back here. Now it looks pretty good, uh, except there's a little bit that's up above here. Um, go back to our effects controls. Um, maximum is at negative 30. We're going to go to zero. Uh, back to Lumentary scopes. Again, that helped out. Uh, if we uneyeball and eyeball, you can see a, how it's helping out. But, you know, we still have this red channel that's going over, a little bit of the green, and a little on the blue right here in the center. Um, so that's why I don't like to use Video Limiter. Um, you know, it, it also creates kind of funny looking colors uh, from time to time. Um, I haven't had that. Oops, I just reapplied the Video Limiter. I haven't had that with the levels. Um, the levels, you know, it's super easy. You just drag and drop, put it on there. By default, it's making 0 and 255, um, you know, which kind of is going to equate to this 0 and 100. So we play it back, rock solid. Well, I hope you guys found this video tutorial uh, useful. If you want to see my other videos, go to my channel um, and subscribe. Um, I will try to have another video out to you sometime next week. Uh, thanks for watching.